All right, another successful mission. Hello, Grogu. Universal Orlando Resort, Earl needs his own Christmas tree over here for the meet and greet. I think so. I think we're gonna make that happen. We'll put that oh. oh, wow. Do you think the people on the moon ever look over and say, wow, it's a full spaceship Earth tonight? Welcome back to the sign, welcoming you to Universal Orlando Resort. Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> Hiya, Scooby! Polynesian Village Resort with the newly opened Kona. All right, I have to ask a question. Have you guys been missing me? Because it's time, I haven't done this in a while, but good morning, Magic Crew. How's everybody doing this morning? We are coming to you live from the galley here on the Scarlet Lady Virgin Voyages after a scarlet night last night. And I'll tell you what, guys, last night was a trip. Last night we had some major, major wind. Uh, and uh, we got an extra ride last night because the ship was just having some fun on its own. It was dancing more than we were. Um, I actually have a video of my closet and my shirts were doing more than I was last night. Um, so it was, it was a, it was a fun one. So good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, we are. Let me turn this around. I've been looking for you everywhere. I just pointed my shirts. Anyone see this? Guy? <laughs> you see this guy? Look at the guy who just joined us here at the end of the table. Um, morning, Tony. Yep. How are you feeling? Well, you, you, really you, made it, you made it out of the hammock. Yeah. yeah, I made it out of the hammock. I was a little concerned. Yeah. It was tough. Had to call on the Coast Guard. Are you enjoying the hammock? Oh, that's ugly. You want to explain to explain to everybody what, we, what we're talking about when we're talking about the red hammock? They have a hammock. If you get the Sea Terrace um, uh, cabin, they have a hammock on, on the balcony and it just stands there and it is it is perfect to just sit in. It's a one person little seating hammock. Yep. You can extend it out and lay down. I, I, I finally figured that one out this morning. I have been just having it like... If you stretch all the way out, you can I lay down flat. The but the problem out. is you can't get back out because yeah. it's so comfortable. Very much so. So, um, how you doing, Owen? Great. Just doing good? a few minutes ago, showered. I'm feeling refreshed. We have our day at sea today. So that means we're going to stay on the water all day long. And uh, that also means a lot of other activities are going to be taking place while on the ship. We already have people who've been to the spa. Yes. Lori has already had a massage in the spa today. Um, Jackie is going to be going back in later today for a little bit of spa, uh, spa time in the, like the uh, treatment rooms. She had a facial this morning. The Thermo Spa is already in the afternoon works. We have people talking about going to go play bingo, which in my life, I guess that's a sign of us getting old because I'm like, ooh, bingo. I've never done bingo before. Um, and then we also have a, uh, the Diva Show is at one o'clock today. Um, so uh, it is, um, we're all kind of getting ready to do that as well. But before we get that started, um, this is our first, well, Mike, you didn't have to show up with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys. That looks amazing. Which, oh my god. So that French, one's also on my list, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. French it. toast burger. It's a French toast burger. I was talking about that <laughs> item specifically Dude, that with Pee Reaper burgers. So that's a French toast burger. Oh, it, it'll what pull is, me over to It's the two slices of French toast, a hamburger patty, bacon, eggs, cheese, uh, and there's a little bit of Tums. 
Um, <laughs> it's made into a, a, a spread they put right in there. So you can, it's a one and all. That looks good. Yeah, I don't think I'm very sure. I really wanted to try this this morning, but like walking up and seeing how big it is. Leo's like, like in the window. oh my gosh. Hey Pam, good morning. I don't morning. think I'm going to be able to eat two breakfast items. So by the way, guys, Pam is in the chat this morning. Pam did a great job of taking us through and around Key West yesterday. Um, and we had a great time. It was we got, a lot we got, of fun. We got, to, we got to see Kermit's. We got to see um, uh, Point Zero. We got uh, Ponder the Coconut. Yes. Which, by the way, they just delivered <laughs> both of my Kermit pies at home. Nice. You, 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 you ordered the uh, Kermit pies yesterday as we're sitting you at the table. Order. Yeah. And they just got delivered they to your house. They just got delivered literally like three minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys saw yesterday's stream and go, I want one of those pies from Kermit's, Mike ordered one while sitting at the table at Key Lime Pie. He's at keylimeshop.com. And they delivered them overnight. They're at his house right now. They're currently being eaten by the princess. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they literally seen the door and they're like opening up the door like oh come on come bring it. Andrew says I'm going to order one for Easter there you go yeah that's pretty good I mean service I mean I sat there and watched you order it literally less than 24 hours and it's here it's already at the house I feel kind of bad when we show you guys some of these things now you cannot order this French toast burger and have it show up on your doorstep tomorrow but uh, that's pretty good now I'm I'm this is live review of this. I've not tried this before. What do you think? It's a breakfast burger, right? Yes. <clears throat> the bacon has a maple glaze to it. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. That has a nice touch. Without a doubt. Definitely hits the breakfast spot. Hits the brunch point. It'd be very filling when I finish this. <laughs> Hey, Walt's, Walt's Chili just jumped into the chat oh. this morning, guys. So, I mean, uh, good morning, Stephen. How are you? And uh, I hope Amanda had a great birthday. I know I do. Uh, Haley says that French toast burger looks amazing. That, that's not even I almost like, got it. It almost looks to too good. good. In terms of the amount of food, this, this is like almost a I, I have to imagine that French toast has to be like at least a burger. Right? And, and you want to know, does that burger come with a side of, uh, was it pesto? What is syrup all over the top of Should. But I know. I'm not a big syrup person, so. But. You're not big on the condiments. Yeah. Somebody was timed out for you. But the bacon already oh, no. has a maple glaze to it. So. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, um, I missed it earlier. Um, John says, I, John the Bee says, I love bingo. Um, I love bingo if I actually win, because I hear you can win some money doing that. So, not that anybody ever wins money on this show, but you know. Unless it's your birthday. Yeah, That's your right. Birthday. I, um, uh, and, when, uh, Andrew wants to know, does that burger come with a side of Pesto Bishop? I'm not sure what Pesto Bishop is. is you look to be famous. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh we're getting to get one of these. Would you like to say hello? Hi. We're here. Let's turn it around real quick. So, Diana. Hi, Diana. What are you? These are the people who take, these are, these are the wonderful people taking care of us on the cruise. Diana. He's going home. Uh, 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 no, uh, well, so we're on YouTube on right YouTube. now. Hi. So, Diana, Hi. How, long, Hi. how long have you worked on the Scarlet Lady? On Scarlet, I just came like two months, but I was here before, so okay. it's three years already on Virgin Islands. Wow. So, wow. Can, can I can I can I give you something from our group? Um, we have a we have a member of our crew. We have our own crew mm -hmm. um, who uh, <laughs> made some really cool things for us uh, for our group cruise because we have our circle here, yeah. uh, and he made us these really cool wow. octopus keychains. And uh, since you're famous now, can I let? Can, would you like to have one of these? Thank you so much. Yeah. So, thank you, Diana. Thank you, guys. And we're having a wonderful time. So, thank you very much. So, when you guys come on, you can ask Diana whether or not you know she still has her octopus keychain. Um, um, uh, Sam wants to know what deck is the guy.
Allie is on deck 15. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's really Tony knows and I know that if there's if this is your first time ever coming on Virgin Voyages first time coming on this ship the Scarlet Lady that is the first thing you need to know before we tell you anything else if you're like I don't know anything about Virgin Voyages let me start you off with the most important thing the galley is on deck 15 and I'm gonna walk you down a little bit or maybe I'll let Owen you want to take a tour um, are okay. you done um, we may let Owen take you guys on a tour of the galley and show how it works. Um, but before we do that, uh, I have to do some singing. And you know what? Everybody's having a good time here on the ship. So, um, let's see if I can catch. Oh, Andrew wanted to know, not Pepto Bishop, Pepto Bismol. That makes sense. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Susan can't, couldn't join us. It was a last minute change of plans. So she stayed home. She's having spring break with Liberty this week. Avocado and bacon panini. Where is that? Oh, at the diner No, there's a sandwich shop. Ooh, av avocado, avocado sandwich, right? Avocado bacon panini. Avocado bacon panini. Hey, um, I have to sing the PayPal song. Anybody want to join me? So, because Quaharini just tipped $30 uh, helping out with uh, onboard uh, things going here on the ship. Thank you so much, Quaharini. And uh, so, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Freaking everybody out here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Quaharini. Um, we missed that. <laughs> so thank you so much, Quarini. Greatly appreciate that. Um, and uh, uh, is it Caleb there as well? Yes, Caleb is here. Where, did Caleb make it out today? Um, Caleb was it in the park where I was showering, so I'm assuming he's somewhere. He's already made it. He may be in the. He may be in the gaming. Uh, there's free play in the arcade here. So you want to show everybody the back of your jersey? Um, yeah. uh -oh. Oh, she's, so she walks on. We're going to come over here. Okay, that was it. And then on the back. Oh, Hannah! Nobody gets left behind. And so far, we haven't left anybody behind. Every, everybody's still with us. So, um, good morning, Michelle. Good morning. FM Ever After, good morning, good morning. Hello, Carol. There's just so much to do. And uh, Andrew, Andrew's like with with that with with that. We can't have Ohana show up on the screen. Andrew just tipped six dollars and twenty six cents. Says you guys look like you're having fun. No, we don't look like we're having fun, Andrew. We are having fun. <laughs> These guys are having a great time. And we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal for the Magic Crew. Thank you, Andrew. Greatly appreciate that. Um, and uh, Andrew couldn't help it after seeing that awesome uh, French Toast burger. Uh, I'm sure there's people behind us going, what in the world? Maybe, I think it's that, I think it's that group who sat behind us last night at Razzle Dazzle. Um, <laughs> Now they were having fun. Oh. Woo, I tell you what, that was crazy. They, they were two. They were two. Um, two. Um, What's that? There were two what? They were after dazzle. Loud, having a good time. Beats, bears, Battlestar Galactica. Any of that helping? Uh, the party behind us. There we go. Um, usually people have a full scale when it comes to um, volume control. The group behind us had two. Well, well okay, I maybe actually one. One, one, I only is heard more, one. one is more appropriate. Uh, now that I think about it. Uh, they were they were binary. Either they were quiet or they were screaming. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I mean. So, 
Oh, it, it, was, it was either like casual conversation or bloody murder behind us. So, did you want me to take that? So, would you guys like to have a tour? Hello. Hey, it's Caleb. There's Caleb. How you doing, man? Doing good. Check out. Oh, I love the shirt. Caleb got a shirt yesterday. You want to turn around and show everybody what your shirt looks like? Can you see it? You can't see it. It's embossed on the back of the shirt. It has the octopus and it says Virgin Voices on it. It is a cool shirt. So um, we'll have to, uh, I'll have to show that as well. Would you guys, what did you, have you had anything to eat this morning? Um, I had a blueberry danish from the grounds. The first one, I'm sure you got the secret. Oh, the, the grounds? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna grab anything in the galley? Maybe. Yeah. So no buffets here. No buffets here, people. It's all like freshly made as you go around. And uh, this is the main area. There are six restaurants around the place. Um, but uh, this is the main eating area. So what I'm going to let you guys do is why don't you guys go take a trip around the galley with Owen. He'll show you sort of what different options are. And I might see if I can grab myself something to eat as well. I haven't eaten since last night. And uh, we'll come back and maybe chat some more with the crew. So, all right, ready to go out? Ready to go take them on a little tour there? There you go. Okay, let's start this tour in the beginning. In the beginning. All the way over here, there are actually um, two staircases um, where you can get to the galley from. This is um, one of them from the middle of the ship. So it would start out here um, from you either coming from the elevators or taking the stairs. Once you get up here to this floor, um, on again, 15. The, um, this would be one of the two entrances, at least from this side, of where you would um where you would enter the galley if you're coming for the first time luckily they have um they have a guide right here to explain where to find um what to find where i'll go through all of these options as i make my way around um So if, if you're coming in the future or interested, I'll keep um, take a screenshot now, note, or just note general locations. So we're gonna step out by Quixie, which is basically a quick grab and go. Let's say you don't want to wait in line, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to sit down and raise the flag, which is probably something we'll talk about in a minute once we get back to the table. You can grab stuff here. You can see we already have some items for breakfast. We have some smoked salmon. We have a charcuterie board. We have some oats, yogurt, food that's free to grab. We also have um, silverware here, napkins, um, spoons, full set. Once you go past here, you're going to eat as much food as possible, but you're going to need something to pair with said food. We have Tap That Cold, which is going to be a place for cold drinks. You have water, ice, um, juices, and lemonade from that machine right there. Those two right there um, are like miniature like Coke machines, you can get Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Coke Zero, Fanta, or Ginger Ale. Which is great because Ginger Ale helps with um, sickness. So it's a, um, if you're ever on a ship and you um, want something to help, if you're feeling uneasy, that there's your go-to remedy right there. But say if you want something else, or something warmer, or something more um, caffeinated, we have your walked up coffee.
So we have regular coffee and hot water here. We have different types of milk, um, mugs to put the coffee in, tea to use the hot water with. Move to our first of many locations. This is going to be Bento Baby. Now it is worth noting the galley is not a buffet. None of the food, um, none of the food served on this ship is going to be buffet style. It is either going to be made to order, talking about most restaurants, or here in the galley it's going to be pick up. So we have uh, multiple bento boxes, all with different types of sushi. Um, we usually have six pieces. Uh, so you can grab about two, two boxes, get like 12 pieces of sushi. And then come over here, they don't, uh, those two, two containers right there, get soy sauce from that, bring that back to the table. We're still in the breakfast hour, so we are having different bentos. That filled with sushi, but it said filled with various other things. Fruit and yogurt and such. We're going over, it's, um, we're going over the pops and bubs. This is not only a um, gourmet popsicle stand, but you can also get um, some drinks here. And if you have a craving for that as well. So we have banana chocolate, pineapple thyme, and berry rose. So you're not gonna have your like, Burger of like, uh, this is fruit flavored. We're, we're done here. Call it a day. <laughs> so I'm gonna go like down this way and back. It's worth noting that between here and all the way to the end, um, all of these stands are only open at a certain time. So keep that in mind. If you're wanting to stop by here, you will have to um, plan that out. So here we have, let's talk about it. <laughs> this is gonna be your uh, taco stand. This is actually where I got what I was just having on camera, the chorizo burrito. We talk about that fully in length once you get back to the table. Um, so tacos, burritos, uh, pastadas, this is where you're gonna find that. Keep going down. You too, enjoy the day. Sorry, we have another, uh, another tap that station over here for cold drinks. Uh, next temporary open stand, noodle around. If you want some ramen, then I'm not talking about like, um, I put this in the microwave, poured some water over it beforehand. That is my meal because I live in college type ramen. We're talking about the good stuff, the really good stuff. So let me come over here. See if I can see me on that. This crowd is gonna stand in the middle of the way. I'll see what we're trying to get through. So we have miso udon, Thai curry ramen, suka ramen, and a spicy version of the ramen um, above it. So very flavorful. Um, I actually came over to the bowls. Look at that. Hey, how you doing? So if you, if you have a craving for like good ramen, like if you've never tried that before, that's where you would want to go. We have our last temporary stand, hot off the press, paninis. Paninis, fried kettle chips, and also because it's breakfast, on its toast. Smoked salmon on rye, and a tub. 
course I've heard this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to the stairway just for a second, show this off. I always keep forgetting how that door works. <laughs> So this is the second steer wheel um, you could come from. And it's important to note that if you're going to enter the galley, you can only enter from this side. Unlike the other um, other elevator, which I just showed earlier, you can enter from both. We'll get into the reason why in a second. Um, they also, um, in the back here, we also have seating areas outside. So if you want to... Um, you get your burger, your meal, whatever your craving is at the moment, and you want to um, um, sit outside in the fresh air, see how, um, while you're looking as far into the horizon as possible, you can also sit out there if you so please. Hey. So just again, just for recap, all of these are only going to be open at a certain time. So if, if any of these really appeal to you, um, do plan it out in your schedule, in your day, so that you can, um, let me shut off this menu again, because I was so far away, just a few seconds. Be sure to um, plan out a chunk of your day, right, these are open, so you don't miss that. I will say, um, I'm actually really glad we have a day at sea because between um, us getting on and like getting it settled into the room, um, nightly events and just Key West, it has been really hard to try some of the hit list items I had for the gallery. So uh, we've been, uh, it's been brought multiple times that we are in the breakfast hour and a lot, of the, um, a lot of the booths here are gonna have breakfast um, variations. But what I'd say if it's like um, 2, 2 a.m. in the morning, very late at night, you just got home party and it's like, man, I want some eggs, I want some breakfast now. Well, you can just come over here to Diner and Dash. This place has all day breakfast, eggs. Um, they have eggs, they have omelets, they have meats like bacon, sausage. If you have a breakfast craving and you can't find breakfast, this is the place you need to head to. So, um, Greg, um, Um, all of the other booths, for the most part, um, um, are open all the time. It's just that those four, that straightaway, all of those are open and closed at a certain time, unlike some of these. So it's just something to keep in mind. There's not a set, wait, there's not a set time. It's not like you need to book it. It is still walk up. Um, but, but um, it isn't gonna be available always. That's basically what I'm saying. Here we have the burger bar. We're also in the breakfast hour for um, this place, but um, at the Rawa, they usually have really great burgers, uh, fresh off the grill, including like daily specials that I've seen like rotate on a constant basis. That special isn't out right now because they aren't currently serving it, but um, even here, like in the galley, they try their best to make um, good combinations of food. Over 
here right now we have um, cereal. If you, you know, you just want your Fruit Loops, you don't care anymore. Just give me the stuff I like. We have this here currently with um, milk and bowls. Um, later into this, later into the day, this will be replaced, and you'll have like um, ice water and some different variations of small water. If you're into that. Yes, this was actually one of the items um, I was like looking at. I don't think I'll be able to try it today just because of like how much food is there. But French toast burger. That's what that is right there. Okay. It has it has to be pure just just because that's how big it is. Mike did just have that, so when we get back to the table, I should ask him about it. Can I get one of the blueberry games? Welcome to Well Bread. Anything baked, anything baked, you can find here. Thank you. So usually they have, um, later in the day, they have flatbreads. Flatbreads, um, and like a small selection of savory, um, savory bakeables. But again, since we are in the breakfast hour, we have a wide selection of little things to pick up. We have croissants, we have different muffins, we have um, danishes, dark chocolate brioche. Flesh. The problem. Flesh. But... And we have a thing of a story fried right there. Then we have the sweet side. This is gonna be if you want you want desserts, this place um, usually has a lineup of like small little um that get desserts to try again since we're in the breakfast hour i'm going to keep saying this because i want to put emphasis on the this is not going to be like this all day round um we have a lot more emphasis on um parfait um yogurts fruits this will change later actually um Last night I tried um, one of the desserts here, the Scarlet Lady. Um, a little treat named after the ship. Dark chocolate mousse with like a little bit of passion fruit. So good, highly recommend it. So this is, this is not part of the gag, but it's worth showing off just in case you're coming here or if you're wondering why the back, um, the back entrance to the galley, there's only one side open. This is Gumbe. This is a Korean barbecue restaurant. It's gonna be one of the big five that you're going to, need to get reservations for um, to dine at. And because it takes up this section of the ship, you cannot come into the galley from this side in the back. So if you do have gumbe, um, this is where you would enter to once your reservation is called um, to sit down. We will we'll not be uh, not be eating here on this cruise, unfortunately. Main reason being we have a large party and it'll be hard to split between tables, but maybe we can make it work out next time. Maybe. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Yeah, those it is not part of the guy. Don't don't like casually casually walk in there like a, like get, can I have a panini? Can I have a burger? Get, and that's a full blown restaurant. Only to worth knowing, since all the restaurants are made to order, you will need reservations. Um, so, highly recommend doing that before you get on the ship so you do not have to worry about that. It will save you so much time and stress. 
we have the daily mix. Again, usually um, during the main hours, we would have salads. Many different types of salads, but because we are in the breakfast hour, the breakfast time, we have a much more focus on bagels. So if later into the day, if you want like a sad for lunch, so you don't feel so bad for like shoveling all the food you have been doing into your mouth for the past couple of days, this is where you will want to go. Also, I like to keep keep a um, note. We also have a tap that hot and tap that cold on this side as well. It is symmetrical on both sides, so you don't have to worry about choosing a side just to be close to that. And finally, we have both a second grab and go and a grounds club too. This is a um, this is a coffee stand. Oh, and various other things. So you want something more advanced, like like just not not just like a coffee, but maybe espresso, um, cappuccino, hot chocolate. This is where you would want to go. You, you may notice it says grounds club too. There's actually a grounds club in the mid deck. This is kind of like an extension of it. Another um, location on the ship that's more convenient if you're deciding to eat here. That being said, if you have, if you're closer to the middle of the ship in terms of uh, deck level and uh, and you're doing something there, or eating something there. It'd be much easier to pick it up there, but if you're eating here, this is where you want to go. And it's worth noting that the Browns Club 2 and the Daily Mix um, will close later in the day as well. It won't close as earlier as, say, that um, alley in the back I showed you earlier, but um, say later into the night, really late, um, they will start, they will put a line of chairs here. You will not be able to access this side of the room, so. Not, not as huge as a big a deal, because I feel like, um, unless you were really need cider coffee, um, you're not gonna have like a huge, um, a, um, too it won't be too much of a hit if you're blocked off for that for a certain amount of time. But if that is two things you're interested in, keep that in mind. Does close later in the back alley, but does eventually close. So <laughs> don't procrastinate like partying like until um, 11 o'clock and then get um, get mad when you get up here and you can't get signed. Okay, so just recap. Grab and go, cold, hot, coffee and tea, water, juice, lemonade, and soda. Symmetrical to both entrances in the back. Um, sushi, popsicles. Let's talk about noodle round, panini press. All three of these will close earlier in the day. The only back entrance with extra seating outside. Diner and Dash breakfast all day round. Um, burger bar, sweets, gumbe if you need to go there. And also keep in mind that there is no entrance on this side in the back. Daily mix, dance symmetrical, Browns Club 2. Show this map up one last time. Any questions? Any questions? That would be the time. I ha I haven't really been um haven't really been like looking at chat as much because I've been focused on showing everything up and also 
being sure I'm not interrupting the crowd or getting anyone in frame that doesn't want to be. Someone, I, someone did mention juices, and you can actually get juice and lemonade, like right here. Well, so you're we're like looking for you. Like, where did he go in the galley? He's standing right there by our table. <laughs> Gotta watch up. This streamers was catch up on you. So, what do you guys think? Would you get to see everything in the galley? Okay, uh, for, um, uh, first question, um, yes, can you bring me a plate? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't, like, I'm not sure where it's going to be, but I'm just going to, I'm going, I'm going to take a guess. I'm just, I'm going to take a guess. I feel like, just, um, just going off the top of my head, I feel like, okay, let's go. I, I can't put my finger on why that would be, but I feel like that might be. I feel like that may be kind of hard. <laughs> but but hey, if um, this mini tour really interests you and you really want to come here in the future, we do have our next cruise set up. So. <laughs> And then I am going to the bottom of the box. Here, do you want me to put this here? Do you want to go walking? Yeah. What time is it? I need to be somewhere. Oh, yep. You need to go. Yeah, I need to go. Yeah, I need to go. Owen, Owen has signed up for a class today on how to photograph food as a foodie. So he and George are going to be taking the foodie um, social media class today. Mm. So go have some fun. You get to eat it as well as take pictures of it. So that is, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the galley. Mm. Um, that is not something I'm going to be able to do. I only have one phone today. So. I think so. I think so. Yep. Hey, NYG fan girl, do me a favor, guys. I only have one, uh, one device with me, so. If there are some PayPal's that have come through, if one of, if uh, Susan and one of the mods could. Noted in the comments, I do not have a secondary device with me today. Haley's like, I, sh I should go to that too. I was almost tempted. So, Owen is going to this uh, thing. It costs. I need. I need It costs thirty dollars, but he used all of his. Yeah, we're all good here. Thank you. Um, well, he used all of his onboard credit. So it's coming through the promotions that we have um, that we booked, of course, through us being Travel Mation Travel Agents. So here's the thing, guys. When you guys want to try out Virgin Voyages, let us help you because we can get you guys the greatest promotions and make sure that you have uh, good prices, help you with the process. And um, of course, if you guys are interested in joining us in the group cruise next year, it is gonna be May 14th to the 18th of 2025. Book now and get some really low prices. Uh, if there's two of you, the first sailor pays full price. Second sailor pays 60% off. Plus you get some additional promotions and things we can throw on with you. And if you join our circle, which is our group, we're gonna get you some additional uh, onboard credit you guys can use uh, to take advantage of things like that. So you can use it to upgrade your Wi-Fi. Uh, you can go to the casino. You can get some spa services. You can pay for excursions like um, tomorrow, Lori's going to be swimming with the Stingrays at oh, Bimini. Right, yeah. And she paid it, paid for it with her onboard credit. So it's like, it's almost like it's just included with the cruise because you're not having to pay for that. So if you guys are interested or you want more information, please reach out to Susan. Send her an email. Susan Edwards at TravelMation.net. 
Copy me at Chris Edwards at TravelMason.net. Let's make ship happen. That's our hashtag here at Virgin Voyages. Make ship happen. And uh, let's take advantage of getting you guys the best credits and onboard credits as well as getting the best price by booking as early as possible. Uh, Tiana was so funny last night um, because she would not let me see Michelle getting uh, her um, glow up done because she wasn't ready. She wasn't done yet. And she was hilarious. Um, <laughs> Michelle was getting uh, all of it on and uh, some glow on her face. And as I was doing it, Tiana's like, she's not done. I'm not finished yet. You need to go away. I don't, no influencers. We're not finished. <laughs> then she wanted to know if she could work for me. She'd get me her rates. Um, so Tiana was hilarious last night. So mini fan, we are right now today just at sea. I'm going to take you guys out. We'll look out some of the stuff. And I'm going to take you around the ship a little bit. So I hope you guys can join me for a little, a little tour. But before I do, I'm going to say, before I walk away, I want to, if I don't see you guys again before the next showing or our, our next meetup, I'm going to take everybody around the ship. Uh, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later as well. So, Tony. Why don't you go out there as a hat? What's that? It's blowing. Well, I know. It's a, it's a windy day today. And then we'll get lost later on this afternoon. So, the great thing about a, a day at sea is that there's so many things going on board the ship. There's words we've been spending a lot of time with each other during the group cruise. Today is like the perfect day for everybody to kind of say, all right, we're going to have breakfast together, but then we're going to like, everybody's going to go off and do their own little thing and have some fun. Some people do spas. Uh, some people are doing uh, classes. Others are playing bingo. Um, and so it's kind of everybody does their own thing until we get together for like meals and things again. So... This is our gym area. I'm gonna quickly just kind of give you guys a quick survey. It actually goes around the com corner and people are working out, so I'm not gonna bother them. Uh, the B complex, of course, you've got classes like yoga, breathing, um, and all kinds of different courses, and they're complimentary. You just have to sign up for them. Unlike other cruise lines, you do not have to pay extra for those classes. Uh, you um, Betty says, most important question, where can you get coffee at any hour of the day? Um, well, I will take you to a great place to do that. Just a bit, Betty. Or you can get coffee right here in the galley as well. So we're going to take you guys to 7. And we'll show you guys some of the main areas here, including the grounds club where you can get yourself some coffee. Now, I like to take the stairs as much as possible. So, if I'm going down, it's much easier. If I'm going up, sometimes I'll take the elevator if it's a lot of flights, but uh, most of the mid decks here are going to be your main cabins. But we're gonna jump down to level deck seven. If you've never been on a cruise ship before, a couple of other ported things that are pretty across all cruise lines. The basic anatomy of a ship. First of all, there is the front of the ship called the forward. There's the back of the ship called the aft. And then there's the middle of the ship called the mid, mid section or just midship. Um, if you can know the front, the middle, or the back, then there's always starboard and port, or in this case, uh, first and foremost, just calls it the A and the Z side from A to Z. A is going to be your port side or your left uh, as you're cruising forward, and your starboard side is referred to as Z. So all room cabins are listed with a room number and either have an A, M, or Z. A being on port, M being middle cabins, uh, which are uh, no access to um, uh, 
uh, balconies. They're just basically interior cabins. And then Z being your starboard side. Why is that important? Because these ships are huge. You want to look for things. And people will tell you, well, if you want to go to um, a particular place, well, they'll say, okay, you want to go to deck seven, midship, uh, A or port. So once you get the terminology, it's a lot easier when people are giving you directions. Um, Greg says, are you saying a lot of the activities are included? Um, most of the activities are included. There is no additional price. Now, that's not to say that works for all cruise lines because that is not the case. If you go on a Virgin Voyages um, and you want to take a class, a, uh, an exercise class, it will be included. If you go on a Royal Caribbean, there will be a charge. So, now there are some things that are not included, it's little extras. Uh, like for instance, you can do something called um, a, grog, a grog walk. Um, there are classes in which they'll teach you how to make cocktails. Uh, there are foodie classes and uh, progressive dinners. Things that require or provide you with, you know, alcoholic drinks or upgraded um, food may have an additional charge. But most of the general activities are going to be included. And Carol, that's the great thing. I would say half of the people who are with us on this cruise have never been on a cruise ship before. And until they get to a point where they want to spend some alone time, nobody has to be by themselves. We're always here to make sure that someone has access uh, to uh, a another member of the Magic Crew, hanging out with them and teaching them where to go, how to go, when to get off the ship, where to get back on the ship. Nobody gets left behind. So this particular ship, the Scarlet Lady, I believe it's 2,770 passengers, almost 1,200 crew members. And I want a ship model this big of our Scarlet Lady. And that is, really, that is the whole uh, advantage of being on a group cruise. Um, I think a lot of people would love to cruise for the first time, but can be a little nerve, uh, nervous about it because, well, they don't know uh, what they have to do to get on board. They don't know what they need to do in order to check in. Um, how do they get in through, uh, how do they get onto the, the ship? How do they get to their rooms? How do you do the muster drill? And you're like, what is a muster drill? Yes, all of the general activities and things you must do, and there are some required safety videos and things. All of that is something that when you're on a group cruise, we help you guys through. It was my job on embarkation day on Wednesday. I'm not on vacation. I'm working hard to make sure that these guys all get on board, get to their rooms, and everybody's checked in and doing well today. So um, we'll make sure that we will go and be in step with you guys all along the way. So Betty, this is the grounds, our little coffee bar. Now, when you come to the grounds, you can get yourself some pastries. Of course, they are included. Uh, if you want uh, some upgraded coffees, you want some espresso, would you like a cappuccino? You have to pay exorbitant prices. They're so expensive. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is horrible. Look at this. They're going to charge you $3 for a macchiato, $4 for a cappuccino, $5 for a mocha. 
You can't even get coffee at uh, Starbucks for that price, guys. Freshly made. Uh, and you use your onboard credit or actually use your bar tab um, when you go through and you get some really nice made, freshly ground uh, coffee. Not even close, Heather, because we've not been doing things that some of our other Magic Crew members have been doing. Uh, we have not been going on excursions just yet. Um, the activities we did yesterday, we actually, um, thanks to Pam, uh, made available to everybody without having to pay for it. So everything we did yesterday as a group was uh, included. Um, but uh, we have uh, yet to make a dent. Uh, Caleb has bought himself a shirt and a, uh, a boat um, souvenir. And I still haven't bought anything for myself just yet. So. And it's like, I'm making myself a latte right now. <laughs> Hi, Pam. It was so good to have you guys with us yesterday. All right. Welcome, we're in mid-deck here. This is our gaming hangout area. Board games galore. You can even play a Rock'em Sock'em Robot, <laughs> Connect 4, Yahtzee, Cranium. They have Shuffleboard. Additional coffee space. Good morning, by the way. Good morning. We were just talking about you. I'm live on YouTube. And uh, Michelle was talking about how you get that great glow up last night for Charlotte night. So thank you so very much. <laughs> that was Tiana just now. She's part of the Happenings crew. Uh, NYG Fangirl, how is the food compared to other cruise ships? Um, great. It's wonderful. Um, it causes problems because uh, you want to continually eat. <laughs> and uh, I haven't had anything yet that I have not enjoyed. Welcome to the arcade. It's Caleb and Dean. <laughs> He's over here playing Tapper. I'm Don't at, play. Yeah, I'm surprisingly good at this. Now, have you ever bartended before? No. <laughs> I'm merely here to just try to subside their drinking habits. I mean, who drinks this much or this early in the morning? It's, well, you know, you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Exactly. And the funny thing is, all I can think about is Wreck-It Ralph every time I think about this game. Exactly. That actually Had you heard to... about Tapper before Wreck-It Ralph? No, actually I hadn't. Um, Terry wants to know, is this where you find Caleb? Yes, he's actually <laughs> right behind me. You join in. Here, here's Caleb. One player co-op. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! And uh, I'm chasing ghosts. Here is here is Gabriel <laughs> playing Pac-Man. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Somebody tells me this is how this guy is supposed to feel layered with the boxes. He can hide behind the boxes, and you can, huh? He doesn't even look like he's hiding. He's just kind of standing on top of the boxes. Yeah. 1980s video fun. Thorn, 
when's the last time you played the original Mortal Kombat arcade box, right? And it is free play for all of the arcade. So yes, no cost to play. <laughs> You got a little night. This is not a, this is not even a dessert area. This is simply a quick place you need to grab a quick bite. These are not found anywhere in the galley or any of the restaurants. These are additional little goodies you can walk up and just ask for. And after 12 o'clock, there will be three large glass jars here filled with three different candies. You simply walk up and go, may I have some red vines? May I have some saltwater taffy? May I have some gummy bears? And last night on the way back to my stateroom, I walked up and simply asked, may I please have some Swedish fish? They pulled out a, a paper bag. <laughs> they fill it with Swedish fish and uh, just take it back to your stateroom. little additional shopping here we'll make our way back to the back got that sailor's loot grab yourself some swimsuits bags jewelry this is not the main shopping area this is just one of the offsets the age limit for virgin voyages you have to be 18 Now, what you're gonna hear when people market, and I think it's terrible when they do this, you'll hear a lot of websites uh, market this as uh, X rated. It's adults only. You know what? This is not X rated, guys. It is adults only, yes. There are no kids. Everyone is at least 18 years of age. But you can see, I have no problem walking through this ship. I have no fear of anything that is anything less than being something appropriate to share on our stream, on our channel. And you guys know, as long as I've been streaming, Ear to Ear Magic is a family-friendly streaming channel. Would I be walking through this ship if I had any concern whatsoever at all? One of our little lounges, when we first started coming on Virgin, uh, we had a lot of people, a lot of other streamers, a lot of other bloggers, I should say, who, uh, you know, we're vlogging from their trip going, there was no seating. There was so little seating and it was so uncomfortable. There's nowhere to sit, there's nowhere to relax. And I'm like, what ship did you guys get on? Become this ship. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. Raise flags and order drinks, order some additional food. And uh, you can sit and just nom nom all you want on top of us. I know, there's nothing inappropriate here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take you guys outside real quick. It may be a little windy. If it's too, too windy, uh, I might take you back in just so you guys don't have too much on the microphone. Some of the different areas. We are now in the aft. Back of the ship. out here guys that is a, a, an amazing uh, detail Kim thank you for, for bringing that out the pool on the top deck is small you don't pads um, it's not what you're gonna find on this ship uh, the pool up top is plenty of areas to lay out in the sun. Um, there are hot tubs around, and the pool is not meant for very, very large groups of people. Um, but on Bimini, we're going to be there tomorrow. Um, if you want to go to a pool, the pool on Bimini is much bigger 
there's going to be the inflatable pool party. They're going to have inflatable toys at one point, I think at about one o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon. All the Happenings crew is going to come out. Big, big dance party with the DJ. Plus, you're only a small walk over to the ocean. You can sit on the beach or swim in the ocean as well. This is where you can hang out here, Terry. Sunflower. Hey, Celtic girl. Now, this is where Rose wanted to jump off. Well, it's probably better that she wanted to jump off here, Salt Lake Snow Bunny, as opposed to deck 16. You guys see the nets? up top you can actually climb out onto the net and just lay or sit and look straight down Now, oftentimes we have travel clients that contact us and say, well, you mentioned Virgin, you mentioned the bar tab, but I don't drink alcohol. So I'm not really sure why having a $300 bar tab is gonna do me any good whatsoever if I don't drink. Um, why would I need that? Why would I care? Um, out here in the back area, Notice amongst the drink menu, cold, fresh, and healthy dock house. Cold pressed juices, you can get tangerine, grapefruit, beet, apple, lime, fresh green kale, orange, carrot, and ginger. I actually wanna try that. All freshly pressed extracted juices. Even a healthy shot. And around the ship and in the restaurants, you can get mocktails and you can get what they call your buzz free, your alcoholic free. You can get Red Bulls. You can get Heineken 0.0. .0. Get yourself a basil lemonade and look at the prices. We're not talking exorbitant. You want to buy yourself a drink here? Most drinks, majority of the drinks are $10 or less. You have a $300 bar tab, look how far you could go with that. $300 worth of mudslides, that would, that would be, uh, that would be a good amount there, Terry. So when you have your meals, which you're, um, your meal, meals here are included. You can simply say, you know what? For this meal, I'm gonna have one of our mocktails. We're gonna have this cold pressed juice here or something like that, so. Just quickly, we're not gonna go in, but they are uh, preparing and cleaning up this morning for the wake. This is our steakhouse here on board. We've already had two meals here. It was an excellent dining experience at night and we had a wonderful brunch here as well. Well, the great thing is, Crystal, is that you've already paid for it. There are opportunities on the menus to say, you know what, I want to go a little bit above and beyond. So last night we ate at Razzle Dazzle and uh, someone in our crew decided they wanted to get the, uh, the seafood boil. It was an additional cost and it was a, um, an upgraded experience. So there are a few things on the menu that you can say, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and splurge tonight. I'm gonna get the filet mignon or I'm gonna get the seafood boil. And you're like, well, 
okay, I shall pay $25 extra for something above and beyond. Everything on the menu, except for a couple of things here and there are included. You got that onboard credit. You just simply show them your band. This is what you pay for. You don't have to keep a little plastic card around or keep up with it or, oh no, I left it in the room because I had to have the lights on. Nope, it's always with you, right there on the band. Anything you buy, anything you pay for, drinks, food, um, simply a scan of the band and you are ready to go. I love the smell of these ships too. So when you guys contact us and we get you some great promotions, you're gonna hear us use the terms bar tap and sailor loot. And the difference between sailor loot and bar tap, your sailor loot um, is your onboard credit for purchasing yeah, items, experiences and stuff like that. Um, if you've had a bar tab, it's to buy your Wait, drinks. It is to buy your alcoholic drinks, your cold breast juices, your um, specialty coffees um, that are above and beyond, like your espresso martinis and things like that. You use your bar tab. Everything else can be used with Sailor Lube. Oh, look, there's Tony. Hey, Tony! Um, so we're gonna take you guys down to do some shopping here in just a second. Uh, so if I'm buying a drink, I'm gonna use my bar tab. If I'm going to pay for the upgraded Wi-Fi, I'll use my Sailor Loot. If I want to buy um, a, a t-shirt or a hat um, or some of the other great uh, shopping areas we're gonna show you in just a second, uh, you'll use your Sailor Loot. Crystal, what if you want to drink a Coke? Well, guess what? That is included. No drink package is required. Um, there are soda machines in the galley. Uh, when you eat at any of the restaurants, you simply just ask for your Coke. No additional cost. You don't have to pay $20, $25 a day for drink packages. It's just included. And when you need a little something sweet, just a little scoop to get you from deck six to deck seven, you need those every once in a while. Come on over to Lick Me Till Ice Cream. Believe me, I think our entire circle has made several trips per day to come over here and grab themselves something. You can grab um, any of these ice creams and you're like, oh yeah, I sailed so-and-so and they had soft serve machines. This is not soft serve. This is not some slush that gets popped out of a machine. And no, no, we're talking actual ice cream. You can come over and choose your cone. You have red velvet, midnight vanilla, or just vanilla. You can get one or two scoops at a time. And then you can choose from any of these flavors, like vanilla, malted strawberry milkshake, key lime pie, both of those are excellent. Chocolate, grandi duato, I don't even, espresso chip, I have not tried. We're gonna get one of those today. Brown butter, strawberry, apricot sorbet and then they repeat down here as well like i said you choose you can get yourself a red velvet a midnight vanilla or vanilla <laughs> so when he's like i know that guy he's my travel agent <laughs> Just walk by. Now, uh, they are open every day. Um, today, they're open from 11.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. at Lick Me Till Ice Cream. Also included, no additional cost for that. Nope, Hatbox Ghost, no cost. Pizza place.
You gotta have your pizza, right? Now they're not open just yet. They're getting ready. They open at noon today. Today they're open from noon till 2 a.m. If you want a pizza. Now other cruise lines, they have pizza places too. You can walk up, have a few options and uh, you can order a slice. They'll be got, glad to give you a slice here at the pizza place. No, they have several different styles of pizzas. They make you an entire pizza. It is yours. You simply eat it inside the pizza place or you can have it to go to put it in a cardboard box. You can take it back to your sea terrace or eat it out on the deck. And uh, they have several different options every day. And then they have a pizza flavor of the day. The great thing about the pizza place, really fun for Susan. Unlike other cruise lines, they can pretty much make every single pizza gluten-free. Hello, Julie B. So Julie, now every cruise is gonna be a different price. So please do not take you know, any of the prices that I may mention here is, oh, well, that's how much it costs to cruise on all because it depends on the ship, the destination, the length of your uh, cruise and the like. But we did have uh, one couple whose final prices after um, booking with us early um, for this particular cruise, uh, for the two of them, it cost uh, just at $1,700 after taxes. Now, <laughs> the funny thing is, they paid $1,700, but they also had uh, $900 in sailor loot that they're working through right now. So can you imagine having a five-day cruise at $1,700, but with $900 to spend? How would you spend that much money, guys? I just did it on a spa. I'm gonna get a massage. You look, you look spas. You, you look spas out right now. You really do. You look really comfortable. Last night was rough. Oh, last night was a rough one. We went last all night was fine. You have to be a sailor. <laughs> oh, Jackie was Jackie was the last one to leave the Scarlet Night last night. She like, "Where's the rest of the crew?" I was absolutely fine too. That's what I'll tell you. It was, 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 it was bouncing around a little bit last night. But it was. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought, I'm sure people thought I was a little bit inebriated um, because when I was walking down, not, I'm, I'm, and you think I might be, oh, he's just being funny for the, for the stream. Yeah, no, he's not. No, I'm serious. Okay, when I was walking on the ship, tonight, I'll give you guys this demonstration. As I'm walking on the ship, I'm like walking. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Okay, I need that. It's like when I was walking on the ship, I was like, oh, 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 no, like this. And I was like. And it was just a little rocking back and forth on the ship. And, uh, and I'm sure if someone had got, well, he must have had some fun at the bar. No, we just had, we had some really rough winds last night as well. So um, we are here at Virgin Voyages shopping. Have you guys gotten any year of your VV items yet with your sailor yep. loot? No, we just she spent just my spent sailor loot. Uh, you massage. spent all your sailor loot on spa and... I did. We only had and 200. So. <laughs> guys, I just got out of a facial and a massage and let me tell you, it was amazing. 75 minutes each and it was amazing. So Lori this morning also got a massage. I know. We just I, we were with, I was she with was her. She was just here? Yeah. Um, feeling rejuvenated? Feeling good? Yeah. Feeling amazing. So... Uh, have you now? You actually used some of your sailor loot to get access to the treatment rooms Everything. for the entire cruise, right? And you got a really good deal on it because you did that as soon as you got on the ship, right? Exactly. So, how does it feel to know that when you walk in, all you have to do is scan this little thing right here, and boom, you just have it. Everything's that way. It's just relaxing. It's so relaxing. I think everybody's trying to spend the rest at the casino right now. So, yeah, I know. Well, we actually know. We actually uh, uh, was talking with a guy last night who walked in and wanted to play blackjack but the table was full so he walked over to a slot machine and on his fourth pool he pulled a thirteen hundred dollar jackpot oh. <laughs> yeah we all know that guy yeah, we, yeah. All know we might not know we might guy. know that guy but we i'm like i'm like wow that's that's kind of fun i mean it could happen yeah i'm like dude you just kind of almost paid for your trip right, right there I'm hoping that i mean it, that. it doesn't happen a lot but i mean for the fact that it did happen yeah um, so I'm going to take everybody in and show them a little bit of the, the Virgin Voyages stuff. What do you, what do, what do you think, um, if I were to buy something to give away, what do you think 
would be the thing of what you've seen? What would be the thing that would make you most excited about? The most useful thing, I think, if you guys are, if everybody, if this towel would be clips. the, yeah, they're the most useful thing. No, what's a towel clip for people who's never had it? Okay, a towel clip is so that way there, you know how your towels slide down those chairs? Instead of that, when you put your chair, your towel over the chair, you clip them on. So no matter how breezy it is, you don't have a problem. Plus, when you have them on board, you can hang your stuff up, you can do whatever. Are they magnetic too? These are, uh, I don't think they They should ones. be. If they were, how cool that would be. You can it doesn't glue a say so. It. Yeah, you can always glue a magnet on the back of it. they are reversible, and if you don't like all red... You know, I'm looking at that, I'm like, that's all that in a bag of chips. They have red and white. Yes. Oh, that's or, cool. Or I didn't know there was a different one on there. <laughs> yep, so they got, they're, they Take got the both chip clip when you're not on the water. So Crystal says, okay, a shopping spree then. Yeah, that's really kind of what it is. It's like... After the, the neck, for how much sailor loot we get on the next one, everybody's going to have a wardrobe of uh, Virgin Voyages clothes. This so is something this. Something like these would probably be something people would like. Is the cups? They got the all these tumblers. cups. Oh, and they got their little wine sippers too. It looks like a little cork sickle. And they have a coffee. My uh, the, yeah. oh, then your your large tumblers. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've got uh, Gabriel grabbed his ship model pretty early on. Um, and, uh, you got beach towels, drink holders, fans. So I was, I was talking with Susan and I told Susan, I said, I think we should take some of our personal sailor loot to buy something kind of cool. And I like the towels. I, think the I like towels, I like I, I like them. this towel. I like this one. I don't know oh, why, yeah. but it's it's embroidered. You want to see it? So yeah, because we love to fold things back up again. Yeah, really. um, I mine. Chris is doing that the other day. Yeah, it was. There it's, it is. So this is. This thing I is. think this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take one of our some of our personal yeah. sailor loot, and we're gonna buy something like a cool beach towel. And anyone who between now and the end of March, who contacts Susan and books their stay. For the 2025 group cruise in May, it's May 14th through the 18th. Whoever is already booked by March 31st, which is Easter, we're gonna just put everybody's name in a drawing, and we're just gonna draw a name and give out some 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 cool gear. And after uh, our diva, we're gonna meet, we, we were thinking we'd go with you, and the ones like Jill and us, we're gonna all book. So we thought we'd head over with you, and then. I think that'd be a good time they to get lost. Right after like the right after the show. Diva show today. So I have another appointment at one fifteen, and I want to book too. Well, just let me know. Well, the great thing is, we how many people? I mean, everybody is watching. Like we keep running into people in the crew. Okay. Our magic group. We ran into Tony. We ran into Gabriel. We ran into the boys playing over in the 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 arcade. Um, it's a, now we normally. Oh yeah. So we've got uh, Kim and Lori just around the corner. So we'll show you guys get um, the Squid Ink, which is where you can get your tattoos. I'm gonna show you some of the other shops. There's a, um, I'm really big into watches, but they also, I love colognes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can get a bottle of cologne duty free over there. Yeah. Uh, and I may be taking some some Calvin Klein with me um, there back, you go. back home. So, I'll be so. Doing my next loot on is a nice watch next time. Next um, time we'll be doing There you watch. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't mean that, I'm not being mean. I'm not picking on you guys. But you were just saying you didn't get a lot of sailor loot. No, because we did the Royal Caribbean one, and we 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 didn't know we about the other. We, yeah, we you made, missed some of the really sweet spots and promotions but, we were yeah. able to grab. But you so guys, when you're on board, you can go ahead and book yep. your next Virgin Voyages, and you get the best deal you can ever get. Yeah, we just we just got announced what it is, so we're going and booking it. So we'll be going with you guys afterwards, and we'll make sure you guys are all set up can for 2025. Oh yeah, you can say anything you want because <laughs> you're Jackie, friendly. and we love Jackie. <laughs> Guys, I'm here by myself, and if you're worried about being by yourself, don't be, because Chris makes sure that everybody is together, so you're not alone. That's so if to say, that's, you're not here by yourself, no, are you? No, not now, at all. Now, when you want to be, you can be. You can be. Right. We won't follow you into your massage and make sure everything's fine. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to sit there and watch you in the mud room. So, oh, look at that one with the with the squid. Maybe maybe we should put up uh, maybe on the community tab. I'll put up a poll and say which which of the items they might like, and I'll maybe choose a few and let everybody decide what they think the prize might be. 
Um, so, but no, um, we have um, three people on our, uh, they're called sailors on the board of the ship, but they're a part of our magic crew um, who are uh, sailing by themselves. Yeah. Right. But if you want to be alone and have some time, welcome to do so. We don't, nobody's checking in. Nobody's giving you the itinerary. No one's no. going, Jackie, it's two o'clock. Where are you? Right. You have to be here. No, it's just, it's the freedom to be alone when you want to be. But when you need somebody right there and you're doing things as a group, yeah. it's a great way to do it as a group cruise. Definitely mm. is. So you are experienced about being on the water. These guys, first time on a cruise. Yeah. And uh, you guys already look very comfortable on the ship. I'm comfortable. So. We're always on the water. Just not yeah, on we're just never ship, been so. on a cruise ship. We've been on the water a lot in our pontoon. It's a, it's a different cruise. experience, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Way different. I'm nice. loving this. This is really nice. So we're going to have fun. And sea days are great because then you don't have to worry about getting off the ship. There's so much stuff to do on yeah. the ship. So yeah. we're going to be hanging out with you guys in a bit as well. So what, what time is it now? It's 11.32. I gotta get so, yeah, we, we're going to be meeting at 12.30 to get ready to see the diva today. So that's right. You've got, you've got, oh, you, you're booked. Jackie is like, she's got her schedule like jammed. And I love it. You know, you know, if you like to say, what am I? Bedtime, right, Tony? I'm sorry. Bedtime. Kevin. Kevin Quaharini always gives me crap about that. I made the, I told everybody we go to bed by like 8.30, 9 o'clock. And now he said, Are you I hear that, when, I, when I mod, oh, at 812, you guys need to be in bed. Ha, ha, ha. He was <laughs> earlier. So that's why. But no, I'm excited. I'll let you know how that one is because it's a salt. Um, it's the uh, sea salt one. Yeah. So um, Leo said with the towel release the Kraken. That, mm -hmm. I yeah, like that I like that one, one too. It's I really think cool. That's a nice one. I like that photo. You um, should definitely do a poll though. I, I think, think we should do I think I'll take idea. some pictures of some different items and then let the people decide what yeah. they would like as a as a giveaway that yep. as a group what they think the better prize would be. And then what we'll do is um, I'll take a list of all those who have actually made a deposit for next year's group cruise for Virgin Voyages. We'll just choose one name and just make sure you guys get whatever we have. Now, let me just say, if you're even interested, just reach out to Susan because honest to gosh, she will take care of you. So just reach out. Um, it's worth it right now. I'm just saying that. So thank you guys. We'll Bye. see you guys for the have Diva Show. One. All right. See you later. I wanted to show you one other this is the most impractical but coolest thing <laughs> this last the liquid goes inside of a mermaid's tail uh i'm sure it only holds maybe four ounces of liquid but i'm just like that looks cool <laughs> um owen uh i think he got himself a t-shirt last night caleb's already picked out his shirt um and this is of course just the virgin door and there's lots of other shopping here as well Like you can't, you can't, you can't throw anything on this ship without hitting somebody from the crew, the magic yeah. crew, right? <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, what are you drinking? Did you have to pay for it? No. Oh, it's just included. Well, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. So, and if you want to buy the upgraded coffee, it's like four bucks. I'm like serious. You can't even get that at Starbucks. No, you can't. Yeah. They're, they're, won't they're, even do that. No, no, that's scary. So, how are you guys doing today? Oh, we're doing good. We slept in late. And yeah. Oh, and I did so myself. Ate at the gallery and. And uh, what's on your agenda for today? We've been running into different people from the crew. We're just kind of shopping and want to go ahead and get reserved for. Uh, next year's trip so we've been talking with some of the other crew um after today's one o'clock diva show we're all going to meet up and for anybody who's interested we're going to kind of do it as a group okay, to make great. sure we get all the great details and uh, we'll make sure that because when you book you book under us as travel mation we're going to get you an additional hundred dollars because it's got our names on your reservation so whatever promotion they have now you'll get also the additional promotion for being on the ship you'll also get another hundred dollars because you booked through us and we'll also you know well we're going to just going to make sure you've got plenty of plenty of sales so i'm thinking we're going to take everybody around the corner and show some of the clones and stuff i might be getting a couple of bottles of cologne to take home as well for somebody special yeah 
yeah, me. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't get the go. I don't get to spend money on myself very often. But because of Sailor Luke, yeah. I don't feel like I'm spending money. Do you have to ask Owen first? Though? I do because he has all of it. I have no Sailor Luke under my name. It's all under <laughs> Owen and Kayla yeah. because. We Sailor Luke. Um, so when I ask for anything for myself, I have to get Owen's permission. Uh, so, but we're gonna, we'll, I'll hop, I'll have him buy me something with some of the Luke. You're real nice to him, he'll probably. Well, I told him, I said, I, I appreciate him letting me spend some of the Sailor Luke. Uh, and also said something about the fact that if he didn't, um, I don't know if I let him come home with me uh, when we get back home on Sunday. Of course, so. he's got enough loot, he could stay for a while. Yeah, he could. He's, he's covered. I don't think he's ever had this much spending power. <laughs> ever in his life so well, he has nine nine hundred dollars of value from the promotion that we had um for him to buy anything that he wants caleb's already got himself a shirt uh one of the little uh sh but we'll see you guys later on this afternoon mr and mrs pickle shake with their free included coffee yeah so we'll see you guys a little bit later uh we've got watches we've got handbags we've got clothes so hey guys hey we're always about there's always room for more right you are are you off off i, I won't put the camera on you but back to back on virgin now is this the first time you've ever been on virgin yeah what do you think so far nice now who do you normally sell we don't you don't we've been on one cruise each and that was that was years it ago. okay so it's been a while. it's almost like starting fresh yeah okay so, um, would you think that so far you've gotten um, taken care of on this ship? Do you feel like that, that oh, yeah. you know, Everybody's are they nickel and diming you? Like, if you want a Coke, it's an extra mm -mm. this, or if you want coffee, you have to pay extra, or... No, everything's included. So, everything's been free. Yeah, it's... it's you had the one, probably with the, the yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah, that's... Anyway, this is... This is Dave and Cindy. Nice to meet you guys. Where are you guys home? What do you, what do you guys? Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Oh, right. Nice, yeah. Michiganders. Yeah. We got several Michiganders in our group <laughs> as well. Um, Their trip is to Cozumel on the next. The next. Trip. Oh, you guys are going yeah. to Cozumel in on Mexico. this one. On this one. They get off and get back on. They're telling us. Nice. Now you guys, it's same ship. Same ship. So do you have to actually get off? We actually have to get off and they, they walk us off and then we have to, we have to get through. A friend of mine just texted me that that's out of his front window. I was going to say, there's a lot of people no. watching right now who Snow. can say yeah. up in Michigan. So they, they walk us off, we have to go through customs again, get back on us. Um, just get right back on? Yeah, it's a very short process. It really is. So um, I think uh, you guys are kind of getting the best of both worlds because you get to, get to be on the ship a lot longer and go to a lot more places. Yeah. So it was a pleasure to meet you well, guys. They, had, they actually want us to give them your information yeah, this, uh, because they want. So are you guys planning on booking another cruise while you're on board to get the best deals? Yeah, I wasn't sure. We were thinking about it. Well, if you're interested, you 300 plus the 600. And if you have someone help you, they'll even take you a little bit more because uh, we, 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 because we, what we do and how we do it, um, they help us out a little bit. So. If you guys are interested, no let me know. Just, it's, that's what so, they do. I won't put you guys on camera and, and unless you guys want to say hi. Is no there somebody thanks. back in Michigan? No I was about to say, I, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm like, yeah, how's it going? How's it going? Because, um, you know, people come here to enjoy yeah. themselves, not yeah. to necessarily be on YouTube. Unless, of course, these guys, they're always hanging out with We're us. We're hanging out with them on, the on, on this side of the camera. We chat so. with them and stuff. We live in Northport, so while he does his videos, we can be part Normally of Normally, I'm at Disney stuff. World and Universal so. Studios every weekday monday through friday and so i go through the parks and these guys get to enjoy the parks with us every time they <laughs> want to come and so this is new for us to be on a ship with them so um they get to actually be on this side of the camera yeah. with me. so maybe on the next cruise you guys can do so well, as well it's a pleasure to meet you guys and uh, seriously if you guys yeah. if you guys want some additional help let me know <laughs> that's right julie b uh, when it costs you zero dollars to have a travel mation travel agent help you, but it gets you an additional one to two hundred dollars additional sailor loot, why not take advantage of that? Now, if you're uh, on a sea terrace and you've got yourself this wonderful balcony, you got to get yourself into that um, red hammock. Uh, those red hammocks are not made um, in some factory somewhere. 
Um, they are actually hand created uh, and they were pulled in to do so by Virgin to make these beautiful, bright, scarlet red hammocks. And they're all handmade by this family who prior to Virgin Voyages did it just enough to take care of their family, barely. And now they're making these beautiful hammocks for everybody on the ship. That's pretty awesome. And you can even purchase them to take home. This is your little sundry shop. You can grab your, oh, Susan loves these, by the way. Um, you can grab yourself some additional bites. These are, of course, um, something you can use your sailor loot to buy. Anything in the shop like this is an additional cost. I mean, you can come over here and get a box of Swedish fish, or you can just go up one deck and get some that are included. But they do have a shop here in case you uh, need some toiletries, sundries. You forgot your Listerine, don't have it. Your acetaminophen, uh, acetaminophen or your ibuprofen. And of course, you know, just general items. All right, we're gonna let everybody go shopping here and we'll take this scary camera back out. Around the corner is Extra Virgin. We will be dining here later in the cruise. It is our Italian restaurant, Virgin Olive Oil. Greg, um, there may be some addition, there may be a few things that you cannot use Sailor Lou for, um, but they're gonna be very on the edge, one-offs and out of the ordinary. So your sailor loot is pretty much good across the entire ship. Matter of fact, one of the things you can use your sailor loot uh, to do is uh, you can even get it at the uh, Squid Ink. You can get yourself a tattoo while you're on board. So, I mean, you can use it quite a bit. I'm gonna take a charge to the other side of High Street for additional shopping. times for sailing um, shopping now because of the way this shopping works the shops will be closed anytime we are in dock so you have to be on the water and sailing before you can shop so please keep that in mind when you guys get on the show Haley are these real permanent tattoos yes we're talking a full-on 100% uh, tattoo parlor we're not we're not talking about hey let's get a happy face and we're gonna put it on and hold it on with water sponge for a few seconds and then, hey, it's, no, no, we're talking full on permanent tattoos. I'll take you guys in to get, get inked in just a moment. Am I getting a, a tattoo on this cruise? <laughs> Not on this cruise. Somebody has asked me before, how many subscribers uh, would you have to have here on Ear to Ear Magic before you would consider getting an Ear to Ear Magic tattoo? And I told somebody, I says, let's talk about it when we get our first play button from YouTube. If and when that ever happens and we get a 100,000 subscribers, Habotsko says I should consider it at 50. Right now I'm holding out at 100,000. So, I already have uh, a few fragrances that I have on my wish list and extremely affordable prices. 
Burberry? No, no, it is for the Tiffany. Here's the bar for Burberry. She wears the goddess one for the her. Oh, it smells amazing in here. We could even get. How's it going, RW? Yep, CK1. Tote bags, sunglasses, and of course, my favorite. Hello, hello again. You grab yourself some watches. High Street, up to 30% off some of the watch prices. I've all, Susan knows I've already been over here looking at a few watches. I've already picked out at least three that I really, really like. Um, I really like this one here. It is a blue band, perfect for ear to ear magic. And this one here with the red and blue. These are all Pro Masters. And yes, you can use your Sailor Loot to do some shopping. And no taxes. And no taxes. There we go. And uh, you don't have to worry about anybody else but other sailors coming out here and trying out. Yeah, of course and you know, do. it's very laid back. It's you can have as much fun as you want doing some shopping and checking out some of these amazing watches. I'm very much a watch person. Like I said, I've already been through here to uh, check out a few. I picked out of at least two that I would be very happy with if they ever came home with me. And yes, I did try on the blue one right here. <laughs> so use your sailor loot and you can go home and say, you know what? I didn't spend any of my money on this amazing watch. So it's good to see you again, by the way. Good morning. Please come back. Oh, I will be, I will be. <laughs> live spaces for uh, our live music spaces all aboard the ship, different lounges and all types of music, jazz, Latin, rock. Last night they were rocking it out here for Scarlet Night. And I just think it's hilarious when I've seen other uh, vloggers and other people on social media going, I just didn't like Virgin Voyages. There was nowhere to sit. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? There's nowhere to sit. Are there any Mickey Mouse watches? Unfortunately not, Rob. Uh, Bart B, excellent question. Did, the, did they have issues with the rocking of the boat with the first time cruisers? Uh, my one thing that would scare me is the first time I would go. Now, Barb, I have been on many, many cruises. Um, last night, I did get nauseous. First time ever I'd gotten seasick. One of the things that did not help me is the night before, uh, I was working off of about two hours sleep. Because I was doing some additional work, I stayed up late. I got up early. I only got about two hours sleep. That did not help me. Um, so do make sure you get some sleep. That doesn't help your cause at all. But last night we did have some major, major wind. We did rock. And, and you know, there's no point in me going, oh no, it's fine. Nobody ever gets sick. It's the most wonderful thing. No, no, we were moving. Um, and I did get nauseous. No, I did not get sick, but I, I did not feel well at all. <laughs> Uh, for about an hour. Um, first time cruisers. Some of them had already taken their Dramamine uh, and they came over to me and they were fine. Now they were still doing the whoa, but they were offering me going, do you need some Dramamine? Cause it's helping me. So some of them 
did great because they were prepared and they were concerned about it. A little nauseous. Uh, when it really got heavy, right about 10 o'clock, they went back to the room and laid down for a bit. They're perfectly fine this morning. Um, and uh, the funny thing is I was concerned. I said, how, how are you guys doing? You guys doing okay? And the very first thing they said was, oh, it was rough last night, but I'm still having an amazing time. So if you are concerned about it, there are some things we would recommend. Um, you can do the Dramamine. There's something called a relief band. Um, the relief band can help as well. We know a lot of our uh, travel mation um, clientele and travel clients use relief bands. Um, and if you guys have concerns about that, let us know and we'll be glad to give you some tips and tricks to help out with that. Um, so um, it, I thought, I'm, I'm glad that certain people who were a little nervous about it did the preemptive um, Dramamine and they went through it no problems last night. So, but excellent question. All right, dry dock. You can get a haircut. You can get your hair styled. You can come over to the stubble and groom. You want to get yourself a uh, a manly uh, style and shave? Come on in. I mean, this is look how nice this is. Um, I felt like I kind of, look at look all the stubble I have today. It looks like I should make an appointment to come on in and do this as well. But you've got your hair salon. You've got your um, I guess you can call this your uh, like a men's shave. So now for people like myself, can you guys help with uh, the full on head shave as well? So yeah, we offer uh, liberation shave, which is our signature shave that mm -hmm. comes with your head shave and uh, face shave. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Pleasure. So, and then right next door, you got yourself your Mac store. Get yourself some additional uh, makeup and uh, help, especially if you want to do it for Scarlet Night. And then <laughs> you want to do some booty free shopping. Yes, you can use your credit, onboard credit, to go shopping in the booty free shop. Um, Hatbox Ghost, that's that's a good point. Um, we actually do have another couple that are using um, patches um, and the patches are helping them today as well. Yeah, you see, there is a Mac store. Good morning, Kim. We're so glad you can hang out with us today as well. Have a procedure today. Well, I hope it goes extremely well. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. You guys want a bottle of Macallan 21? Macallan 30. How you doing? Doing well. We're, we're live on YouTube showing everybody who follows us normally in the parks how great it is to be on the ship. So, if you're coming in to buy some bottles uh -huh. and you have Sailor Loot and the bar tab, this is alcohol. Which do you use? Sailor Loot. So you're like, well, wait a minute. If I have a $300 bar tab, can I come in here? But I have $900 in, in Sailor Loot. You can come in here and buy your bottles of alcohol using your Sailor Loot. So we yeah. actually had a few of our Magic Crew do that as well. So, um, and uh, I don't know the name of it, but the guitar shaped bottles, oh, the rock and roll, it's huge. they uh, they immediately came in and bought some for some friends, um, for our collecting. And uh, check those out, guys mango tequila and strawberry tequila. How much are these bottles? $53 are two for 90. So if you buy both of them, it's $45, $45 a bottle. A bottle yeah. So is there any special procedure if you were to buy a bottle to be used on the ship? Yes, yeah, actually you cannot open the bottle mm -hmm. board. So if you buy anything, I'm gonna hold till the last night. And then housekeeping delivery, set of your cabin around 7 p.m. The night awesome. before this The night before. So all of these are things you can purchase for taking your back off the ship. Um, it's all pre-purchased and is delivered to your room the night before you guys disembark. 
So, great selection. And you even have a few cigars. Well, Rob, I'll, I'll pretty much tell you on those, uh, the rock and roll, I am I would probably bet about 20 bucks that the person who's going to receive that as a gift will never open that bottle. Yeah. Because it just, it looks, it looks cool. Everybody it's probably a collector. Yeah, it's no, like, no, it, it no, could no. be Kool-Aid in there. We'd never know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the one thing uh, I can tell you guys, this is a expert tip. You have sailor loot. Do not walk off the ship if you still have a positive sailor loot because when you walk off, it disappears magically. It's gone. You use it or lose it. So don't walk off and say, yeah, I've got like $200 in sailor loot. There's so many different opportunities and things you can buy as far as souvenirs, uh, even something like this in which you can take advantage of some of the specials that they have. so that you can use it for your advantage later. Have you tried it FM Ever After? Sorry? We've got someone who has commented that it tastes so good when it hits your lips. So you're talking about a specific one we were talking about before. I was curious to see which one he was referring to. Uh, So normally we stream from the parks uh, on our channel from Walt Disney World and Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every weekday, Monday through Friday, yeah. I'm in either one of the four Disney World parks or the two Universal parks. And so today is kind of special that we get to share it with everybody to be on the ship today. So yeah, cool. someone who may not know where we're at going, this is a very different Walt Disney World than what I used to. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> but uh, this, this Walt Disney World is only for 18 or older. So. Yeah. Good to see you again. Thank you so very good much. Appreciate it. Have a good day. And then right next door, guys, we're going to take you guys into Squid Ink. <laughs> Most of it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Nadine actually met uh, President Onyx. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Leo says $200 left over. Um, yeah, go buy yourself a new watch. Don't let it expire. Use it to your advantage. You know what? I should have told the boys that could have come in here and looked for a shirt as well. The squidding shirts. All right, I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to turn it just the way, make sure nobody has to worry about being on camera, but just to show you guys what it looks like instead of, there's a nice mirror image. Oh no, you're perfectly fine. You're good. I want to make sure that no one has to worry about having to get away from the camera. I'm really good about making sure. <laughs> Not everybody is as nice and flexible as you. Some people are like, oh no, a camera. So, um, you're in a perfect spot. Thank you. Um, you can come in, make yourself an appointment, and they have tattoo artists here who will uh, help you with ideas uh, for a different tattoos. And we've got, I'm just trying to see if I can find an octopus one. They're, you know, the Inkies. We love. Where's an octopi? The book is a little loose. It's done with shoelaces and I don't want to throw it off. I don't see any of that. The octopus. Because so I'm like, if you're going to go get, you know, like this guy right here. My one's in your pocket. So, um, but you can come in and uh, take advantage of getting yourself a tattoo on board. Um, let's see, uh, Greg, do they give you a list of how much you have to spend so you know how much you have left? Every time you buy something, you'll get a receipt and it will tell you at the bottom how much you have left. All right, 
casino. We're not going to take you in there because it's a casino. So, um, but there are casinos uh, on board and they are smoke free, majority. There is a smoking room if you'd like. And these are just sort of the, the main areas, the main decks. What did you guys end up getting? Uh, I got some shirts, a shirt, a hat. And Gretchen's looking at some bags. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome. Did you get your perfume? Uh, oh, nice. says, what's that? Get your perfume? Or I haven't, not yet. Oh. I have, like I said, I have to go ask permission from my children so that I can oh, spend yeah, it. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to ask them for permission. Uh, Oatney made a good point for 4,400 passenger capacity. Most of the time, you won't feel a lot of movements. Last night no. was an extreme. Right. But you guys take, you took Dramamine, right? I took Dramamine before uh, dinner, mm -hmm. just in case, because when I'd gone on another cruise years ago, I got seasick. So I thought I'd get ahead of it. And I didn't have any problems. You were fine last night. Yeah. And so it helps to take it in advance. Yeah. If you're already feeling it, it doesn't do much to help you. That's what the doctor to told To take me. it ahead of time. Yeah, they said, you know, take about an hour before you expect to do activities. If, you know, Disney World or something like that, take about an hour before. Or... And to show how extreme the winds were last night, um, while I was sleeping last night, I woke up at about 4 a.m., and at one point, it wasn't the movement that woke me up. I just woke up for a minute. Every so often, you could hear one of the waves hit the side of the ship. <laughs> and it would, you could hear the boom. And I'm like, I've never heard a wave like that before. Yeah, there's some pretty so, good ones. It was some good ones. Yeah, yeah it was, was like a roller, roller coaster ride. Of course, it's kind of a nice little rocking motion. Almost rocked to sleep. Yeah, I was about to say, Dean last night says that uh, they actually went to sleep much better because they had a little, little like a cradle. Yeah. motion and they, they fell asleep quite well so it all is in your experience uh and i'm glad that you guys took the jam with me last night so. yeah that worked good for me and then and in fact afterwards after the party we went back to the room and ordered up some food and uh they, when i ordered it up then i got a notice back that they couldn't locate me or something like that they said try again so i ordered again so i had two meals come in <laughs> Did they deliver both of them? They delivered both oh of them. Gosh. And the uh, the person that delivered it, they looked a little surprised. And I said, uh, I said, I, you know, it said on the app to try again, and I did. So I was just following directions. Yeah, it wasn't me. I was. They came about 15 minutes in between times. So that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Pam says, I think I know what Susan wants. What's what's that, Pam? What is? What, for, um, for me to stay on an, another ship so she <laughs> doesn't have to put up with me for a few more days maybe Hi, Pam. <laughs> all right so i am going to walk back here and show you guys razzle dazzle uh we had dining there last night um it's uh razzle dazzle was considered to be vegan forward got my squeaky shoes on today The back end of High Street here is uh, the restaurant we ate at last night. We are going to be eating there um, for brunch tomorrow. Uh, this is Test Kitchen. And Test Kitchen is another one of the restaurants, of course, that is only open for dinner. Um, it is a foodie heaven with the fact that they give you a menu that only includes five courses one ingredient of each course. Um, Susan, if you're watching it, I was gonna share with you, they have now a second menu rotation. I took a picture of it, and uh, so now they rotate between the two menus. Um, and it is a very slow dining experience. Um, they bring you course by course. They, it's all about presentation and the gastronomy of it all. And if you are a Foodie, you are going to love this cruise. So let's take you guys down one more deck and then we're gonna wrap up here pretty soon. Thank you to all the Magic Crew hanging out with us here today as we are on the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. We are on our third day of our five day cruise. And we would love for you guys to take advantage of being on this ship for 
a future cruise. If you are interested, we want you guys to send an email to us and let us help you get started. Um, Susan Edwards at travelmation.net and Chris Edwards at travelmation.net. And we have already announced our group cruise for 2025 for Virgin Voyages. It's gonna be May 14th through the 18th, 2025. It is official, it is open. It is gonna be on the Enchanted Lady, a different ship than what we're on right now. And we are already booking guests uh, for 2025. This is Pink Agave. Great hallway for photos. Wonderful photo op. We are having dinner here. I can't remember if it's tonight or tomorrow night. So I'm not gonna take you guys all the way in. They're still getting ready for tonight, but I'll give you guys a quick little look. This is, how do I explain Pink Agave? Um, elevated Latin is the best way maybe. And if you are one who is gluten-free, this is gonna be your best friend. Um, we dined here in August and there were only two items on the menu that were not gluten-free. We simply let them know that Susan was gluten-free and of the two items, they retrofitted it, I guess you could say, they modified it. Uh, and then they brought us one of everything on the table. It was tapas galore and uh, Susan could eat and enjoy it all. When you guys come in, make sure to order the guacamole and uh, the atmosphere here, it looks really bright now. At night, the mood and the lighting comes down and uh, it is uh, a wonderful dining experience. So, good morning. So when you're choosing your dining, give uh, good consideration the pink agave. Yeah, Susan's telling you right now in the chat, pink agave is amazing. We are here at Sailor Services. Other companies will call it customer service. Very laid back, you have issues, you need some help. Walk over here, walk up to one of our crew and they will be glad to help you. And razzle dazzle. here for brunch. You can get reservations for dinner. And this is your vegan forward restaurant. But they have some naughty stuff on the menu as well. Not all of it is going to be vegetarian or vegan. They do have an amazing chicken sandwich for lunch, brunch, and you can get the fried chicken. Oh, actually, ear to ear magic. Okay, cool. Would you guys like to say hello to everybody? Hi. We're live on YouTube. You guys, feel free. Where, are you, where are you guys visiting from? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, Washington, D.C. Yes. You're not from Atlanta. I'm from New York. You got my accent. No, no, no. Where do you actually live? I live in Atlanta. I live right Bolton in Bolton County? No, I live in the city of Atlanta. In the city of yes, Atlanta? No city. way. I live, the Bank of America building is my view. Because for many, many years, for about 17 years, we told everybody we're from Atlanta. Uh -huh. But the people who knew, like, you're not from Atlanta. Yeah, no, we're from, from we're from Gwinnett County. Oh. We were Gwinnett County. It's the oh. suburbs. Yeah, my mom. My mom lives out there. But Washington. you don't, you know, it's like, did, do you live in Washington, D.C.? No. Right. See, so which. But when people ask you, you say Washington, D.C. Uh, it's amazing that you actually do live in Atlanta. So it's very rare that that happens. Is this your first cruise or your second cruise? No, no. This is, this is your third? Yeah. Now, is this the first time you've been on Virgin? No, this is my third Virgin. Third Virgin. Now, is this your third cruise? No. What other cruise lines have you been on? Uh, Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean? Carnival. Okay, um, Carnival. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and, and MSC. Oh, MSC? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, what is the best thing? about Virgin as compared to the other ones you've sailed on? Customer what? service. Customer service. The food, the environment, and no kids. And no kids, isn't it nice? Yeah. 
Yeah. If there's somebody crying at the table next to you, they it's, really it's, crying. <laughs> it's a different experience, <laughs> right? Is there, what can you do with it? Yeah, if they're, I love the parties. If they're 40 me. years old and they're crying, it's for completely different exactly. reasons. Yes. So now, um, you guys are from different areas of mm -hmm. the country. Are you guys? Did you guys know each other before the cruise? Yes, we have the same children. We are sorority sisters. Sorority sisters, we awesome. For 23 years. 23 years. Yeah. Now, are there other sisters on the? Yeah, there are lots of cones. They're all in there right now. Yeah. Did you have you guys already eaten? Yes. yes. What did you have today? Um, I had uh, for, uh, avocado toast. Yes. And the chicken sandwich. The chicken sandwich. Yes. I had dinner here last night and oh. I thought I was having the chicken sandwich and said I got the fried chicken. Yeah. I was so disappointed. Oh, it was okay. great chicken. Okay. But I was wanting the chicken it's sandwich it. because if you if you're not vegan, you gotta try the chicken sandwich. Yeah. Yep. So and what did you have for lunch? So I had the acai bowl. Mm -hmm. I had um, the razzle dazzle breakfast, which was the scrambled eggs. Impossible patty. Yes. Um, with a side of bacon. And, uh, Have you guys tried the pork belly yet? No. I had that for dinner last night. It's really good. But the Yes Queen drink is phenomenal. I had I had the pork belly. It served with slices of radish mm. and I think apple. Okay. And uh, and it served on top of slaw. Okay. I'm like it's the weirdest thing in the world, but it was delicious. So. Where are you based out of? Uh, we were actually originally from Atlanta okay. area, but we moved down to Orlando. And okay. our channel, okay. we actually go to Walt Disney World and Universal Studios every weekday. Oh, have wow. been for four years. Oh so God. when you guys get back home yes, yes, and you yes, have sure. a day off and you're like, you know what, I would really like to be in a theme park and, the, and not uh, not Six Flags over Georgia. Uh, <laughs> if you want to come ride Pirates of the Caribbean, you can join us every Monday. We are in the Magic Kingdom. Okay, cool. So, and we do it, we get to hang around and uh, we get to have our own little crew. We actually call our community the Magic Crew, okay. which is perfect for cruising. So, um, we'd love to have you guys come. Yeah, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, okay. we're on um, TikTok, pretty much anything you think of. You're going to be in there in June? I'm going to be there in June. Um, when's the last time you've been to Disney? <laughs> she had to think, so it's been a while. No, I want to say last year. Last year? Yes. But we went to Universal. Universal. Love Universal. Little love, little love, different. Love, little different. Love, love, we love, love both parks. Yeah. Okay. And but we do both parks as well. So I'm gonna let you guys get back into and doing it. Thank okay. you guys so much for giving us some great because here here's the thing. My wife and I are travel agents. Okay. Somebody will come into our channel sometime and go, he's only saying that because he's trying to sell us something. Nothing to sell, no. If it's because I'm selling it, it's because I like it. I'm okay. not going to sell you something I don't like. This is amazing cruise. So it's a lot of fun. Did you guys enjoy Scarlet Night? Yes. yes. Did you get in the pool? No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you got to come back for your fourth cruise. You got to come back for your fourth cruise. It didn't get in the pool. So now, are you guys going to book for your next cruise while you're on board? That's my plan. You get your best credit. Yes. And it makes your best deal. Do you guys have travel agents? I am a travel agent. You are traveling. Awesome. <laughs> Are, are you booking with her? Yes. You better. You know why? She can get you additional deals. Yeah, okay. That circle. Yes. That circle the makes circle. a big difference. Yes, it does. And I've met so many people who are like, oh, I don't have a travel agent. I'm like, oh, you're missing out. You're missing out you really time. are. Yeah. So if you know a travel agent, especially if she's one of your sisters, Absolutely. there you go. Who's your video? Is it Royal? Um, uh, it is Tamika. Oh, honey, Tamika. Oh, my name is Tamika. Oh, you're in Tamika? Yeah. Well, I like Tamika's because okay. Tamika takes really good care of us. She's okay, an amazing good. BDM. Okay. Uh, and uh, she um, she helped us out uh, as far as getting our circle all together and getting okay. everyone all the reservations. Cool. And how many do you have cruising with you? So in your... right now it's only nine of us. So nine? we didn't make this. You didn't quite make it? Yeah. But when you get to that circle yeah. area, they have a great represent uh, Angelica as my representative on board to make sure that I've had any issues. Cool. So when you sail with a group on Virgin, they have someone to make sure that you're taken care okay, of. Okay, cool. I'll make sure. And so now, guys, Tamika's taking good care of you guys. Yes. All right. Make sure you book your next cruise with her while you're on board. Okay. Because I'm telling you, if you don't, you're gonna miss out on some good deals. So good to meet you guys. Have a great time. And then tomorrow on Bimini, if we see you uh, in the pool party, say hello. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Always, always take advantage of and don't walk away from good deals. And uh, it was a pleasure to meet you, Tamika. And uh, take, thanks for taking good care of your sorority sisters. That is awesome. All right. So I'm going to take you guys back up. We're going to go outside the ship before we close out this morning. Any other questions you guys might have? Tomorrow, we're gonna to be on Bimini. We're gonna be uh, at their, um, Bimini itself is not a private island, but they're private. 
for you to explore and to enjoy as well. So, but. That being said, if you are part of a group, if you are part of an organization, whether it be a sorority or fraternity, if you have a group organization on a group cruise that you'd like to set up yourself, or if you know someone that would fit that scenario, um, please send them our information. being travelmation that can get you additional sailing that your group can enjoy so great pricing a manager on board with the group activities and it's always fun to be able to do things with others and we want you guys to join us on our next group cruise again may 14th through the 18th for virgin voyages we do have our next ear to ear magic group cruises coming up in june so if you can't available at group pricing and uh, you can contact and send an email to susan today and join us we have twice as many people twice as many magic crew who will be joining us for this upcoming june 2024 cruise we'd love to have you guys be on board with us as well decks on board actually make that 17 go up to deck 17 you've got your running track we haven't even shown that to you guys just yet maybe we'll go live again tomorrow and share a little bit of that with you guys well thank you so much everyone for joining us here this morning for a little bit just a slight taste of what it's like to be here on the Scarlet Lady today on Virgin Voyages. From all of us here at Ear to Ear Magic, have an amazing day. Be sure to contact Susan if you have any questions whatsoever about booking and planning your next vacation, whether it's cruising, Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, beaches, sandals, on their all-inclusive resorts.